Freshwater turtles can be found on every continent except Antarctica. They all have one thing in common. They all need to be near fresh water. They don't live most of their lives on land and they cannot tolerate seawater. But within that there are a wide variety of turtles. Some are called terrapins, sliders, cooters. But whatever they're called, they're still turtles. Some have adapted mostly to an aquatic style of life, but they still must come on land to lay eggs. They are ectothermic, which means they like to bask in the sun, and so many come ashore to get some warmth. Basking exposes them to danger, and so they must be prepared to duck into the water for refuge. And this they do quite quickly. However, they also must make long journeys across the land to get the fresh water. So they are quite mobile. Most have claws for climbing, webbed toes, are covered with scales, and of course have the shell. No turtles have teeth. They cannot breathe underwater, so the nostrils close. Their eyes have a special membrane that allows them to see underwater. Many species of turtles are often found basking together in large groups. There's an advantage to this, because in a large group, any one individual is least likely to fall prey to an alligator or other predator. It may seem like they're all dozing, but at least one will have its eyes open, on guard, in case any danger should approach. Around the world, turtles inhabit several different types of habitats. They are very omnivorous. They eat insects, they eat plants. Fish also make up part of their diet. Some turtles even hunt. In this case, an egret has died, and the turtles have ganged up on the carcass to finish it off. It will take them a few days before it's completely gone. They are not particularly good swimmers, and they are not particularly good on land. For most species, it is their hard shell that protects them. They cannot walk out of it as they do in cartoons. The snapping turtle, however, is unable to withdraw completely within its shell. This leaves it vulnerable, and so they tend to be aggressive. Turtles are part of the ecosystem. They must get along with other animals. Alligators do not bother large turtles, but smaller turtles are fair prey. Storks will eat baby turtles. Red foxes will dig up nests, and they'll also eat baby turtles. Jaguars can eat adult turtles. Raccoons feed on young turtles and also dig up nests. And nesting is when the turtle is most vulnerable. It must lay its eggs in the sand, and it will lay different clutches. So if one nest is discovered, perhaps another nest isn't. In any case, most turtle eggs are destroyed. Species have different ways of reproducing. Some species, like turtles, have a lot of babies, and it's left to luck. Other species, like humans, have fewer babies, but invest a lot of time in them, taking care to make sure they grow up safely. But it's not alligators or jaguars or lions or foxes or raccoons or egrets that put turtles at risk. It's people, people who take over their habitat. In Ontario, we drained a lot of our major marshes and that really hurt turtles. Turtles crossing roads to breed are run over. We need to give these animals a break. If we leave them alone, they will be with us for a long time. Snapping turtles are a case in point. Not too long ago, we put in regulations to restrict hunting of them, and the numbers have bounced back. By the way, snapping turtles are only found in North America. There are two species, the common and this guy, the alligator snapping turtle. It is the largest terrestrial turtle found in North America. Only sea turtles are larger. Another large turtle found in North America and other places in the world is the soft-shelled turtle. They have long necks and unlike most turtles, their shell is not hard, hence the name. They are mainly aquatic, living in fresh water. They have elongated, soft, snorkel-like nostrils and they must be underwater in order to feed.